Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calumsot, Pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. All who are thirsty, come to the waters, says the Lord. Though you have no money, come and drink with joy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, in this Eucharistic celebration, we come to the healing waters of our Lord Jesus Christ. He is our healing and living water. To prepare ourselves for this encounter, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask Him for pardon and strength. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May the venerable exercises of holy devotion shape the hearts of your faithful, O Lord, to welcome worthily the Paschal mystery and proclaim the praises of your salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Our 
reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The angel brought me, Ezekiel, back to the entrance of the temple of the Lord, and I saw water flowing out from beneath the threshold, threshold of the temple toward the east. For the facade of the temple was toward the east. The water flowed down from the right side of the temple, south of the altar. He led me outside by the north gate and around to the outer gate facing the east, where I saw water trickling from the right side. Then when he had walked off to the east with a measuring cord in his hand, he measured off a thousand cubits and had me wade through the water, which was ankle deep. He measured off another thousand and once more had me wade through the water, which was now knee deep. Again, he measured off a thousand and had me wade. The water was up to my waist. Once more, he measured off a thousand, but there was now a river through which I could not wade, for the water had risen so high, it had become a river that could not be crossed except by swimming. He asked me, have you seen this, son of man? Then he brought me to the bank of the river where he had me sit. Along the bank of the river, I saw very many trees on both sides. He said to me, This water flows into the eastern district down upon the Araba and empties into the sea, the salt waters which it makes fresh. Wherever the river flows, Every sort of living creature that can multiply shall live, and there shall be abundant fish. For wherever this water comes, the sea shall be made fresh. Along both banks of the river, fruit trees of every kind shall grow. Their leaves shall not fade, nor their fruit fail. Every month they shall bear fresh fruit, for they shall be watered by the flow from the sanctuary. Their fruit shall serve for food, and their leaves for medicine. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. God is our refuge and our strength, an ever-present help in distress. Therefore we fear not, though the earth be shaken, and mountains plunge into the depths of the sea. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. There is a stream whose root runlets gladden the seat of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. God is in its midst, it shall not be disturbed. God will help it at the break of dawn. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. Come. Behold the deeds of the Lord, the astounding things he has wrought on earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. Please stand. Dios ko sa aking gawad, loobing ko na'y natapat. So quick, win mong wagas ng mana uli ang ganap bunga ng iyong pagliligtas. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. There was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is in Jerusalem at the Sheep Gate a pool called in Hebrew Bethesda with five porticos. In these lay a large number of ill, blind, lame, and crippled. One man was there who had been ill for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had been ill for a long time, he said to him, Do you want to be well? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool. When the water is stirred up, while I'm on my way, someone else gets down there before me. Jesus said to him, Rise, take up your mat, and walk. Immediately, the man became well, took up his mat, and walked. Now that day was a Sabbath, so the Jews said to the man who was cured, It is the Sabbath, and it is not lawful for you to carry your mat. He answered them, The man who made me well told me, Take up your mat and walk. They asked him, Who is the man who told you, Take it up and walk? The man who was healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had slipped away since there was a crowd there. After Jesus found him in the temple area and said to him, Look, you are well, do not sin anymore so that nothing worse may happen to you. The man went and told the Jews that Jesus was the one who had made him well. Therefore the Jews began to persecute Jesus because he did this on a Sabbath. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Our readings for today involve the sign of water. Both readings include this important sign not only in our faith, but even for the Jews. In the first reading, we hear about the vision of Ezekiel. He was led by an angel to a vision of the temple where water was flowing from the temple towards outside. And all the places passed by through this water was given life. Pinakita kay Ezekiel ang tubig na nanggagaling sa templo at lahat ng lugar na dinaanan ng tubig na yan parang may milagro. Tumutubo ang mga halaman na mumunga ng masagana. Water flowing from the temple giving life. And in our Gospel reading today, we hear about the pool in Bethesda in Jerusalem where, according to the story, anyone who was ill and weak, when they go down to the pool, submerge themselves in water, they became cured from their disease. The waters that give life, the waters that heal, but my dear brothers and sisters, I would like to point out one thing in the story. The story of the paralytic, the man who cannot walk. He said to Jesus, Lord, I am not healed for 38 years because no one will bring me down to the water, to the pool. What did Jesus do? Did Jesus bring him to the pool and submerge him to the water? No. Jesus just said, 
take up your mat and walk. And immediately, he was healed. You see, my dear brothers and sisters, the healing waters now is not in the pool. The healing water is Jesus. Hindi na kinailangang lumubog ng lalaki sa tubig. Sa isang salita lang ni Jesus, gumaling na siya. Pinapakilala sa atin ngayon sa Ebanghelyo, ang tagapagpagaling na tubig ay walang iba kundi si Jesus. The water has no power in itself because the power is in Jesus. He is now our healing and our living water. Today, we are starting our commemorations of the 500 years of Christianity. March 16 onwards, we will see the first coming of the first explorers who introduced to us Christianity. But let us remember, my dear brothers and sisters, we should not just focus on Christianity that is introduced to us, but I think we should focus on Jesus, the center of Christianity. Baka celebrate tayo ng celebrate 500 years of Christianity, but we forget Jesus himself, the important person in Christianity. And this is what our readings today remind us, that the center of life, the source of healing, is not just the water, but it is the power of Jesus. That is why in our mission crosses, you will see there the name Jesus, because he is the center of our faith. As we celebrate the 500 years of Christianity this year, let us remember that we must focus on Jesus, focus on His power, focus on His healing love and forgiveness, and focus our discipleship on Him. Dear brothers and sisters, today our readings tell us the waters that give life the waters that give healing is none other than Jesus. We thank the Lord for giving us His healing power. We thank the Lord for being the water of life that sustains us. And we pray that for us Filipinos, for the next 500 years, we might again focus on being disciples of Jesus. Amen. Please stand. The better we know God, the more we realize our total dependence on Him. Aware of our limitations, we pray in our helplessness to God the Father. For every petition, let us say, Divine Healer, lift us up. Divine Healer, lift us up that leaders of the church may give their lives unsparingly in the service of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine, Divine Healer, lift, lift us up. up. That we may have the generosity of heart to offer ourselves and go in our need to follow Christ who is meek and humble of heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Healer, lift us up that we may have true spirit of humility in our dealings with the poor and the oppressed, and that we may recognize the presence of Christ in them. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Healer, lift, lift us up. That the sick may find love and support from those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Healer, lift us up 
that those who have gone ahead of us may be united with God in his kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Healer, lift us up. Lord God, Father of the poor, conscious of our weakness and our pride, hear the requests of your needy people. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. We offer to you, O Lord, these gifts which you yourself have bestowed. May they attest to your care as Creator for this our mortal life and effect in us the healing that brings us immortality. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through bodily fasting, you restrain our faults, raise up our minds and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through Him the angels praise Your Majesty, the minions adore and powers tremble before You. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please all kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body which will be given up for you. Thank you. 
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please all kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. 
Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Purify our minds, O Lord, we pray, and renew them with this heavenly sacrament that we may find help for our bodies now and likewise in times to come. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Grant, O merciful God, that your people may remain always devoted to you and may constantly receive from your kindness whatever is for their good. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Until the end, to your wish.